How's it going guys? I have a different style of video for you today. This isn't a tech channel by any means, but I still wanted to come on here and give a review of my Lenovo IdeaPad S340. I know a lot of you are in the market for laptops. I was just like you before I bought this machine not too long ago. Since I have one, I wanted to help you all out and let you know my thoughts. I'm not going to get too deep into specs, etc, as you can look into those in however much detail you want on whatever website you choose to buy it from. These will be my impressions and what strikes me the most as pros and cons of the device. I bought this on the Office Depot website for $579.99. That was my budget. To me, that's a lot of money, although I hate to say that in the world of laptops, that's cheap. And it's certainly worth the price. This is a work computer. I do a lot of editing of pictures and videos as well as homework for school and screen recording and it functions great for all of those. Specifically when I use Adobe Premiere Pro, it runs almost flawlessly. There are some lag issues and crashes here and there, but I still found myself impressed with how it runs this demanding program, again for the price. When you browse the internet, web pages don't take too long to open, and overall it runs very smoothly. I also wanted to buy a laptop that could run video games if I ever wanted to play them, as I enjoy gaming every now and then, but I'm not as serious about it as others. Some of you may know, when you're laptop shopping, you can't look up a laptop that's best for working but can also run video games here and there. You have your gaming laptops and you have your work laptops. Fortunately, I've been able to run Minecraft and Skyrim at great frame rates with the right settings on this computer. However, if you're looking to game intensely or competitively, you're probably looking in the wrong place. Also, shut up, I love Minecraft. <laughs> the keyboard has two different lighting settings, excluding being off entirely. This is something I didn't care about too much when I first bought the laptop, but now it's one of my favorite features. I use my laptop a lot in bed and the backlit keyboard helps tremendously. To change the settings, you simply hold down the function key and press the space bar. Simple but effective. Another great feature is the slider in front of the webcam. Something I used to not care about too much, but have also come to appreciate. Regardless of being paranoid about FBI agents, I know a lot of you out there don't trust when your computers say that your mic and camera are off if you're in a class on Zoom, etc. This really adds some peace of mind to those situations. I used a Chromebook for a while before buying this laptop, which really helps me appreciate the display. The screen on the S340 is 15.6 inches. It's a perfectly large size and looks amazing. I watch a lot of movies and cannot be more satisfied with how they look. The screen can also bend back about 180 degrees with ease, which can also be very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go off the cuff here for just a moment. This is uh, what it looks like when you use the camera app that comes with the computer. Um, I'm using the webcam that comes on the laptop and the microphone, nothing external. This is just, how it comes uh, as you can see it's really just not the best <laughs> if you're if you're looking for a laptop with a good camera and a good microphone th this really just isn't for you I can pick it up see it just does nothing with the microphone it, it's just not the best in this regard if I use the slider thing that I mentioned earlier as you can see that's perfectly effective but you know I'm using perfectly normal lighting this this just this just isn't the best feature on this laptop as far as ports go, there are two USB 3.0s, a USB Type-C, and an HDMI port. I wish I had more USB 3.0 ports and maybe a slot for CDs, but because of the sleekness of the machine, that's just not possible. It uses this kind of charger. I find the block at the end to be very bulky, but it does the job I suppose. Moving forward, the battery life on this thing is just not good. I don't know if I've done something to ruin it as it's advertised to last 10 hours, but I can't go more than two or three without needing to plug it in, which can be very annoying. Additionally, it's easy to make the material on the inside or outside look smudgy as it's not made with the most high-end material, but that doesn't matter too much to me. Overall, this is a solid machine that gets the job done. It's been advertised to be the compromise between sleekness and power in a laptop, which I certainly understand. I imagine it'll last me a good amount of time and I recommend it to college students or anyone who has work to do on a budget. Thank you guys so much for watching my review. Remember to click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.